Hey there, Libra. Welcome to a reading for the week of June 22nd. Uh, this week, if you all want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All you have to do is subscribe and you will catch me live. But Libra, this already looks amazing. You have the abundance card showing up here. It's been a pretty positive week for everyone. Um, you know, again, I, like I said to Gemini, it's not perfect, but I feel like things are definitely moving in the right direction here. Definitely a lot of abundance. You have the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Chariot, some sort of victory coming in for you here. Um, you have the Three of Cups, really nice. Wheel of Fortune as well, Justice. Looks amazing, Libra. So definitely very positive for you. Uh, I like to see that. But you start off with the uh, Seahorse Spirit. This card says watch and wait. So it is a card of patience and just needing to kind of like allow things to develop and allow things to happen. Uh, you know, kind of like, this is almost like, you know, allowing the universe or God, whatever you want to say, to take the wheel. And um, in this first row, you have the Ten of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Nine of Wands. So very interesting. Um, you know, as I always say, to me, the Tower... It is not a bad card. To me, the tower, the top of the tower has to fall away anyway. You know, the top here is something that is weak in your life, something that needs to be rebuilt. Um, here's the other thing, Libra, is that in your middle row here, I mean, this could just simply be a move. As I always say, the tower can just represent a separation. It could just be moving from one thing to another. You have the tower, the chariot, moving, the wheel of fortune, moving. So I feel like some of you could just be moving, plain and simple. It doesn't even have to be that big of a deal. Again, you have the Ten of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Nine of Wands in this row. Uh, it's coming up under that watch and wait. So again, I feel like for some of you, this is saying like, don't give up on something here with the Nine of Wands. So it's like, maybe there is a lot of success coming in for you in something that you're working on. And the Tower could be a Tower moment. Um, that you already experienced, but I feel like this is saying keep pushing. You have the abundance card here, like I said, with the eight of pentacles, you have this chop wood card as well, which we're gonna talk in a minute. Like all these cards say keep putting in the work. So I feel like some of you need to keep pushing here uh, with these cards so that you can you know, find success. This is coming up in your past position as well. So I also, you know, I wouldn't worry about the tower because it's coming up in the past position. It's basically saying this tower moment has already happened. Uh, next, you have the Abundance card here. So definitely a lot of abundance coming in for you here, Libra. So love to see that. You have the Eight of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Knight of Cups coming up in this middle row. That Eight of Pentacles, I just feel like a rebuilding here. Again, we're, we're going to clarify this at the end with the uh, Lenormand cards here. But it's like I feel like a rebuilding here. It's like you're going from the Ten to the Eight. So it's like maybe there was a certain level of success in your life. This could be in love, could be in business, could be in work. And it's like maybe you're kind of like going backwards a little bit or maybe you're having to redo things. But I actually feel like this is you creating more quality in your life. Eight of Pentacles is a card of kind of like quality. Um, you know, truthfully, the Three of Pentacles is a card of quality work, but it's like the Eight of Pentacles is basically working to create something of quality. So again, you could be looking to create a relationship that is quality. The Chariot and the Knight of Cups, this definitely could be someone charging into your life in love. It could be a water sign, it could be a Cancer coming in for you here with that Knight of Cups. So if you're looking for love, definitely could be a knight in shining armor come, like charging into your life. And it could be a cancer, could be a water sign, could be any sign. This is just a general reading, but you know, water definitely stands out to me here. So there could be some sort of victory. For others, I feel like you are just becoming victorious after a tower moment. Like, you know, I feel like maybe just things have not been that great with the tower. I, I do get like a sense of disappointments here. It's because you have this 10 of pentacles. The 10 of pentacles is like everything you want. Then you go to the tower. It's like there were maybe some disappointments or maybe you thought you had everything you wanted with a person. And it's like, maybe you really didn't. So now you're like rebuilding here with this middle row. And I feel like you will be victorious with that uh, chariot card. Uh, same thing in work as well. It's like maybe you were, you're looking for a job. I feel like if you're a Libra and if you're looking for a job, I do feel like it's probably been pretty difficult. Even just looking at your astrology, I can see how if you've been looking for a job, it's probably been for a while, at like at least eight months, I would say, of looking at least, if not longer, um, or like trying to find something that's perfect for you. I feel like there could finally be something uh, coming in for you here. Uh, next, you have the Chop Wood card. I love this card. It's a card of like progress. So I feel like you're just making progress uh, this week. In this row, you have the Three of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Justice card. So this is you showing up in a very strong position with that Justice card. The, and I love when people show up as themselves in readings. And definitely, this could be balance coming into your life. It could be you just showing up in a strong position. Uh, but I do feel like it could be more balance. You have the Three of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like there is a lot of success 
uh, coming in for you here. Definitely reasons to celebrate and a turnaround with the Wheel of Fortune as well. Uh, for some reason, I do feel like there's a need for you to kind of like remove your focus from a person um, is popping into my head. I don't necessarily feel like this is love. I feel like this could be maybe like a friend or um, maybe an ex-friend, right? Uh, but I just feel like there's someone who's trying to rain on your parade. That's literally what's popping into my head right now, Libra, is that someone is trying to either rain on your parade or someone is trying to uh, keep you down. I feel like if you pay attention to them, they will be successful. I feel like if you don't pay attention to them, they won't. Uh, I do feel like this person could be at work. Literally, the chop wood card says if you are dealing with someone at work who is extremely difficult, just ignore them. Just work. You know, it's a card of just putting in the work and uh, just don't even, you know, communicate with them nothing. Uh, so that's what I'd say there. You know, Libra, I say it all the time that like, um, you know, I have a rule, no free attention, right? So I don't care if people are hating, I don't care what they're doing, I'm not gonna give them any of my time, any of my energy, any of my anything. I feel like we have, we do sometimes feel this need to defend ourselves, right? I feel like that's normal, I feel like that's human. But I feel like when we don't, that's when we really truly take our power back and when we don't give someone like that free attention, that's where we really become powerful. And that's what I feel like you need to do here, Libra. Uh, between the, um, love it, amazing Libra, <laughs> between the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, you have the King of Diamonds, amazing. The King of Diamonds is a card of a harvest. It's called the fish and it just represents like abundance and success and all sorts of great things coming in. It is also considered the card of a soulmate as well. So some of you could have love coming in. Uh, between the tower and the chariot, you have the king of clubs. This card is called the clouds in the Lenormand card reading system. That card can represent confusion or just not being sure why things have had to happen in a certain way. Uh, like I said here, you know, it's like maybe you thought you had it all, but then there was this tower moment. The coffee's done. Libra, sorry about that. But it's like maybe you had some sort of tower moment and you know and you're just confused because you thought you had everything you wanted i feel like you're building up to something greater with this eight of pentacles it's like sometimes i think we have an idea of our life but it maybe it could be better right maybe we don't realize that our life could be 10 times better than the life we dream of that's why i say you know knight of cups is a card of no limits knight of cups says dream as big as you possibly can then multiply it by 10. and um, if you do that then maybe you won't get the times 10 but maybe you'll get times eight or times five, that's five times better than what you originally thought. So I always tell people like dream big because especially if there's a disappointment, maybe there's something better for you. Uh, next you have between the nine of wands and the knight of cups, you have the snake here. This is called the queen of clubs. So it's interesting, you have the king and the queen of clubs. The snake, again, it's funny that I was saying, you know, be careful of a tricky person. There are no cards of tricky persons here except for that queen of clubs now. So I totally felt that energy while I was over here with this wheel of fortune. Uh, so I do feel like you'll be getting justice, but I feel like you have to ignore it. Again, I feel like it's hard because like, you know, people at work, like if someone's talking behind your back or saying things to the boss or whatever, like I feel like your instinct could be to defend yourself, but at the same time, or to say something, but at the same time, as I always say, if you just do your job with the chop wood card, and if that's all you do and you don't engage, then you can just say to your boss, I just do my job. That's all I do. And you have the proof because that's what you do, right? So I wouldn't, no gossip, no engaging, no none of that this week. I feel like that's going to put you in the position of power. Uh, between the eight of pentacles here and the three cups you have the sun amazing this is a very amazing reading for you libra the sun is the ace of diamonds in the playing card reading system it's a card of like success and abundance this top row here is like total abundance total celebration this could definitely be a job a job offer better finances coming in amazing really good uh, next, between the Chariot and the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Jack of Hearts. This is called the Heart, and it definitely could be love coming into your life here. Uh, it's funny because Gemini had the Wheel of Fortune as well, and the Wheel of Fortune represents like the fixed signs, like Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. So there could be one of those fixed signs could be coming in for you in love. Could also be a Cancer, like I said. Uh, between the Net of Cups and the Justice card, you have the Tower. The Tower is a card of isolation. It's not like the tower. It is interesting that you have the tower in the playing card. I mean, the tower in the tarot and the tower in the Lenormand. But the tower in the Lenormand is like a card of isolation. It's also a card of like leadership as well. So some of you might need to take the lead. But uh, we are going to now ask for an outcome. So for your first row here, your outcome is a lily. Amazing. This is a king of spades. This card represents knowledge, but it also can represent like spirituality and it can also represent kind of like vibing with spirit is what's popping into my head for you libra so i feel like when we are in that vibration then we get abundance so i feel like you're just in the vibration of abundance this week and i feel like you will be getting abundance in this middle row here what do you know you have the ace of spades on this card uh, in this deck it's called the animus but 
This card is normally called like the woman or the lady, and it just can represent a lady or a woman in your life that you're dealing with. Um, as I always say, I don't attach gender in these uh, readings, in the general readings, because it is a general reading, but you could be dealing with, it, this could just be a person that you're dealing with, any gender. Uh, it could be in love, could be in uh, business as well. And this card kind of goes both ways. It can represent a tricky person, or it can represent someone uh, who is good for you, like uh, in a relationship or something like that. It can also represent kind of like a uh, rebirth type of energy. It's interesting that it comes up here in this middle row. I When I used to read, only playing cards Libra I used to call this card the forest fire because it's like you you have a tower moment the forest burns down in your life but the forest after a, you know it burns down always grows back like 10 times stronger because all the nutrients have been returned to the soil so I feel like again some of you this is almost like a blessing in disguise type of reading I would say not quite but kind of because this tower says you could have experienced tower moments but it's like now there's a rebirth regrowth type of energy here where things are about to be a lot better so love it amazing uh, and finally what do you know i love it you have the animus card as well here um, this is the uh, ace of hearts in the playing card reading system so this would be like a perfect match in love so some of you could have a perfect match in love again i don't attach gender to my cards if you're attracted to the same gender whatever it doesn't matter right no matter what you're attracted to this could just be a person coming in for you that is a perfect match for you and um, yeah it would be like a perfect match you know this is like divine counterparts really so I feel like for some of you, this could be like a divine counterpart, whatever whatever you want to call it, right? Uh, so definitely very positive. For those of you not interested in love, I feel like this is just plain and simple, a vibration reading. Like this is just an abundant vibration reading. I feel like you are vibrating at a very abundant level. I feel like there's a lot of abundance coming in for you because of it. So love it. Amazing. So I'm going to end it there. Thank you, Libra, for watching. Really appreciate it. And definitely enjoy your week.